the best. Asha is amazing. There are 1.1 million workers in the hotel and restaurant industry in the Philippines alone, 9.5 million in Europe, and 212 million in the United States. Vast investments have been made in construction of local assets in the country. Pacor Entertainment City, Boracay Equestrian Club, Misibis Bay, Balyaroca Resorts, and the Balasin Island Club in Quezon and a noteworthy surge in foreign hotel ventures. Marriott Group of Hotels, Raffles and Fairmont Hotel, Holiday Inn, Ritz-Carlton, Movin Peak Hotels, Discovery Primea, and recently, Marco Polo. This then positions hospitality as the world's fastest growing industry and an impending and stable means of moving up and forward both for the Philippines and the Filipinos. This sets the gauge of a feasible, impressive economic growth. The Asian School of Hospitality Arts, the only hotel school in the country, is tailored to fit the demands of the hospitality industry. It is strongly founded by its competent core courses, Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management, Bachelor of Science in Tourism, and Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship and made stronger by its intricate and specific career-driven programs, professional cooking with certificate in hotel and restaurant operations, barista with certificate in hotel and restaurant operations, certificate in professional cooking series, diploma in hospitality management, management in accounting, and soon, specialized butler service. Implementing a uniquely Filipino hospitality culture and teaching paradigm is Asha's lifeblood, a faculty roster comprised of seasoned hotel years and veterans who have had years of industry experience both here and abroad. Asha prides itself with its Earn and Learn program, which holds a strong affinity between education and employment, making it possible to extend both quality education and a stable source of living across more than 7,100 islands. Wisely situated in various locations in the country, Asha simulates and imparts actual training in hotel grounds. Further empowering the institution are its notable partners, TESDA, Commission on Higher Education, Tagaytay Highlands, Manila Ocean Park, Waterfront Manila Pavilion Hotel, Hotel H2O and Manila Oceanarium, the Island Cove Hotel and Leisure Park, Cravings, C2 Classic Cuisine, Seven Suites Hotel Observatory, The Orange Place Hotel, and the Center for Culinary Arts Manila. Over the years, Asha has witnessed dreams being brought to life. Karine Pastor and Joshua Delio are cooks at Ritz-Carlton, Florida, USA. John Jester Cruz, food and beverage staff at Royal Caribbean Cruise Liner. Jay-Z Mendonez, bartender in Singapore, Jeff Patiarka, baker in Dubai. Over the years, Asha has taken the Filipino dream to the world, the Asian School of Hospitality Arts, the home of the future global hospitality leaders. Good evening, mga estudiante. Welcome to another episode of Asha e Escuela, brought to you by Asha Free Education Online. Ako nga pala si Dean Angie Blanco, Dean ng Asha Antipolo. And today, tayo ay matututo ng magkasama. Ang ating topic today ay tungkol sa whiskey. Ha? Last week, we had a beer. So, Today, we will learn all about whiskey. Part to ng bartending module. Okay, simulan na natin. Yes, uh, good afternoon, uh, Mama Angie. Good afternoon, students, and welcome to Asia, Asian School of Hospitality Arts. Well, for this afternoon, uh, our topic uh, will be... Uh, the part of the bartending, our topic will be discussed is another uh, alcoholic beverages, which is the uh, whiskey. Okay, 
So at the end of this session, the uh, participants should be able to uh, define the meaning of uh, whiskey, know the four kinds or types of whiskey, third, familiarize to the production or the process of making a whiskey, and number four, know the uses and services regarding whiskey. And lastly, to know the different kinds or brands available around the world. And we have a little bit of uh, video to, to make or to, to show you the cocktail, famous cocktail known as Rusty Nail. Okay, to start with, uh, let's define first uh, what is the meaning of uh, whiskey. Well, just uh, give a little bit of uh, introduction about uh, whiskey. Okay, most of our uh, guests working, uh, meaning if you're in the bar, they sometimes they order this uh, whiskey or scotch. Actually, there are four kinds or types of uh, whiskey. You have that scotch, bourbon, uh, uh, Canadian whiskey, and Irish whiskey. Where normally, uh, this popular spirit is made from uh, barley or grain. In the Indian most most of the guests, uh, with ice, or they call it uh, scotch on the rocks. So meaning, rocks is stands for ice. But some uh, malt whiskey or the straight whiskey, it is better to drink uh, straight or without ice because to uh, peel or to taste the aroma, the, the uh, distinctive uh, uh, charcoal aroma of the straight whiskey. Okay. To start with, first, we will discuss what is the meaning or what is whiskey. Okay. Whiskey is a uh, distilled uh, spirit or distilled from a malted grain, especially barley or rye. So, normally, parts of family and grain, uh, they call the barley. Okay. So normally, may kita siya uh, most a part of Scotland, part of Europe, and United States. Okay, there are four kinds of, uh, as I mentioned a while ago, there are four kinds of uh, whiskey. Okay, number one is the Scotch whiskey, and uh, bourbon whiskey, Irish whiskey, and the Canadian whiskey. So we will try to discuss uh, the four types of whiskey as we uh, go on to our topic tonight. Okay, next slide. Okay, about the whiskey, okay. It is, uh, when you say scotch, no? Scotch is originated in uh, Scotland, okay? So most of the, uh, when you call the scotch, so meaning that uh, whiskey is originally uh, come from Scotland, okay? It is a uh, distinctive product of, of uh, that country, and spirits obtained from the distilled mass of grain or malt, it is blend, either a blend or malt grain whiskey. Normally, when you say Scotch whiskey, under the Scottish law, it should be at least aged at least three years in a oak uh, cast under the Scottish law. Okay, so this is Scotch whiskey. Are there two kinds of? Uh, they're divided into two types. Okay. First, discuss first is the malt whiskey or they called straight whiskey. So, ano nga ba itong straight whiskey? Straight whiskey is made from uh, pure malted barley only. And it is manufactured or the process to the process of they called pot steel. So, meaning uh, sa, pag, uh, sa pag process sa paggawa ng, sa paggawa ng uh, malt whiskey, it's only pure, pure, only pure malt is the one uh, needed to uh, to produce a uh, whiskey. The only ingredients that gonna use is the pure malt. Okay, compared to the other one, which is the blended whiskey or the grain whiskey, it is uh, from the word blended. No, it is mixed. Normally, it has a mix of twenty percent straight whiskey and the rest. Uh, 80% should be mixed a small part of uh, 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 grain or rye whiskey, or sometimes they added a little bit uh, flavored of sherry or peach. 
So normally, it goes to the uh, double patent steel. Okay? So that's the difference between malt and uh, grain whiskey. So let's proceed now to the production or the process. Kung paano nga ginagawa itong uh, scotch or itong whiskey or whiskey. Okay, first, the barley is uh, saturated with water and steeped in a large bath and then spread on a uh, floor or to allow it to germinate. So normally, uh, 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 they mix it with water, nilulubog siya sa, sa isang uh, big bath or large bath with water to, to germinate or magkano siya ng parang uh, sprout or or let's say, let's say in Tagalog, isa yung parang uh, uh, bean sprout o yung toge na magkakaroon siya ng little uh, leaves. So after that, the barley is uh, dry. So the next part is the process is a drying over the pit fire. Okay? This drying process gives to the beans to finish the product by uh, giving a characteristic of uh, distinctive smoke taste and aroma. Okay, after that, after drying the malt, it's going to be stored for almost two months. Then the malt is then grind. Okay, this is the process of grinding. And mix the hot water and to put the grain into sugar solution. So they're going to put enzyme okay, as, a part, as a part of their uh, fermentation. Okay, they put enzyme at the same time. Yeast is also added to the uh, to the uh, uh, process. So yeast is the one who convert the uh, the the starch or the sugar into alcohol. Then the fifth step or stage is the fermentation process, wherein uh, the mixture is uh, ready to undergo for fermentation. So after fermentation is uh, already uh, go to the sixth step, which is the distillation. So in distillation process, so as I mentioned in my previous uh, topic, fermentation, and this is the action of purifying the liquid by a process of heating and cooling it. So it's just like uh, uh, the fermented liquid should be uh, heated, then evaporation and condensation takes place. So after distillation, the last pro uh, the la the next process is the process of aging or aging in the oak barrel or called maturing. Okay, maturing it should be at least uh, in the Scottish law it should be uh, at least uh, three years. Okay, so at least three years when you are aging the Scotch. So and the last step should be blending. So when you say blending. Okay, after uh, up, after the uh, after the process of aging, it goes to the uh, blending process, which is the mixing of malt whiskey together with unmalted grains whiskey. Okay, uh, this whiskey are produced uh, mostly uh, produced in Scotland uh, and uh, United States Canadian whiskey and Irish whiskey. Okay, and after that. Called the bottling, the bottling process is the last procedure in making of whiskey. Okay, next will be the uh, the uh, Canadian whiskey. Okay, what is a Canadian whiskey? Normally, Canadian whiskey, this uh, Canadian whiskey supposedly uh, aged for about four years and. Uh, the main grains used is the rye or the rye. So it, it must be distilled at least 140 or the 140 to 180 fruit. So the famous brand that uh, you can see or we can, we can uh, check the, the market are the Canadian Club and the Crown, Crown Royal. Okay. So next will be the... The Irish whiskey. So normally, Irish whiskey is a triple distilled kind of whiskey. So this is come from Ireland. The characteristic is a little bit sweeter compared to other to other whiskey like Canadian whiskey and Scotch whiskey. So at least seven years 
Okay, at least seven years age in the long barrel. Okay. So normally, uh, the famous uh, coffee, uh, they, they mix the Irish whiskey with the famous uh, Irish coffee. So it's just like a black coffee, put some uh, shots of Irish whiskey, then top it the uh, whipping cream. So they call it uh, Irish coffee. So the famous brand we can see in the market are the Jameson and the Bush Mill. Okay. Okay, next will be the uses and uh, service of uh, whiskey. Okay, whiskey should be uh, served straight up or on the rocks. So, ang ating uh, whiskey, either bourbon, either Irish whiskey, we can serve it straight, meaning without ice or neat, directly from bottle to rock glass, or we can serve it. Uh, by the rocks or we call it scotch on the rocks or either water on the side it also can use or can uh, use it for popular cocktails like uh, uh, rusty nail manhattan old passion or simply tall uh, long drinks like uh, jack collins or scotch soda so a whiskey order the uh, uh, should be uh uh, pour so the the glass used is the rock glass or old past glass okay so it is uh, normally a company uh, or served before before dinner or after dinner the best the best uh, scotch to be served is the malt whiskey or the pure malt okay or you can uh, serve it uh between the meals or so either before uh, after the tip or before before the before the meal or you can serve the malt whiskey after the meal or ear between the meals, okay? So this will be a little bit uh, uh, demonstration. I make a rusty nail. So the combination of uh, scotch whiskey and uh, drum buoy. So normally, rusty nail, you can have a shot of uh, any kind of scotch whiskey and add uh, at least a half jigger of Drambuwi. Drambuwi is a uh, scotch honey playboard from Scotland. And after this, there will be uh, following a short video for you to learn or to know more about uh, what is uh, whiskey. Whiskey is made all around the world and the places that produce the most of it are Scotland, Ireland, USA, Canada and Japan. Welcome back to All in 5 Minutes and in this video I'll tell you more about this fantastic drink. The first written record of whiskey appears in Irish chronicles which describe people drinking it in 1405. The first evidence of whiskey production in Scotland dates back to 1494, however this whiskey was not allowed to age and it was very potent and not diluted. Nowadays whiskey is a much smoother and pleasant drink. At first the whiskey production was controlled by the king and later it moved into the general public. In 1725, when taxes on the whiskey production rose dramatically, Scottish distillers started distilling whiskey at night when it was difficult to see the smoke from the stills. For this reason, the drink became known as moonshine. It is estimated that at one point, half of the whiskey produced in Scotland was illegal. The whiskey production process differs depending on the whiskey type you are making. 
each distillery might also have its own specifications. The production of malt whiskey involves malting, when a raw grain is moistened and allowed to malt, which is a process when the grain germinates and releases an enzyme that converts it to sugars. Afterward, the grain is heated until it is dry. The dried malt is crushed and put into a tank filled with hot water, gradually increasing its temperature. The mash is then stirred to help convert the starches to sugar. The resulting liquid is called wort. The cooled wort is filled into washbacks where yeast is added. The yeast feeds on the sugars and produces alcohol and other compounds. The fermentation process takes about two days. Distillation is the technique of heating a liquid to separate its compound substances. The simplest distillation device is known as a pot stilt, consisting of a single heated chamber and a vessel to collect the purified alcohol. Another still variety is column still, which behaves like a series of pot stills formed in a long vertical tube. Column stills can yield a higher alcohol content than pot stills. Whiskey only matures in the cask and not in the bottle, so it can be aged only before bottling. This aging process signifies how much the cask has interacted with the whiskey, thus altering its taste. There exist many types of whiskey. Here are just a few. Malt whiskey is one of the most popular whiskey types, and it is mostly produced in Scotland. It is made from barley, distilled twice in pot stills and later aged in oak casks for at least three years. Grain whiskey can be made from any type of grain, and it comes from Scotland and Ireland. It contains fewer flavors than malt whiskey, and is usually made for the production of blended whiskey. Blended whiskey is made from a mixture of other whiskey types, and it usually comes from Scotland and Ireland as well. The taste of the whiskey will depend on the whiskey types that are used in its production. Bourbon and Tennessee whiskey is produced in the USA. Bourbon contains at least 51% corn and some barley and wheat are rye. Tennessee whiskey is additionally charcoal filtered before it is filled into casks. Some other whiskey types are rye whiskey, corn whiskey, single pot still whiskey, and oat whiskey. Drinking whiskey in moderation may have some positive effects on your health. Some research suggests that it can aid weight loss, prevent dementia, protect heart health, reduce the chance of diabetes, and reduce blood clotting. Drinking too much whiskey will be harmful to your health, and it can lead to liver damage, addiction, and other serious health problems. Do you know anything else about whiskey? Leave it in the comments below. There is still a lot to learn about whiskey. You can find out more about it from the playlist on your screen or in the description. If you would like to learn about something else in 5 minutes, you can follow this video YouTube suggests specifically for you. Okay, thank you very much, Sir Nelson. And then, okay, dami nating natutunan ngayon. Yes, Sir Nelson ay isang batikang uh, bartender. And uh, he is now on board the Vikings cruise ship. Ha? Nasa cruise ship siya ngayon habang nag-lesson tayo. Wow. So, uh, kayo rin, one day you will also be able to apply with the cruise ship. Diba? So, pero dapat alam nyo lahat itong mga lesson natin to, Itong bar, drinks, no, and spirits. Okay, so, uh, sana marami kayong natutunan ngayon. And uh, reviewin nyo to, no? Reviewin nyo tong video to. And see you again next week for another episode of Asha Escuela. So again, ako si Dean Angie Blanco. Nagsasabi sa inyong tulong-tulong tayo para mapalawak ang ating kaalaman. Tandaan, sa Asha, may pag-asya.